<laughs> I'm Jay. Look at me. I make stupid YouTube videos. Let's take a look. So, would you care to explain yourself? What's going on? My name's Jay, and today I'm going to show you how to add a teleport effect to your videos in DaVinci Resolve. Let's take a look. One of the things that I absolutely love about making videos is the fact that you can always try new things. You can cut your footage a different way or tweak the sound a different way or even try new titles or transitions or special effects. And one of those special effects is something that I have been wanting to test out for a while now, actually. Some of you know this as the Nightcrawler effect from X-Men. Some of you know this as the Peter McKinnon time travel effect. Either way, it's the same thing. I'm gonna show you how to disappear from one place using that cloud of smoke and use that same cloud of smoke to reappear in another place. Now, one thing you wanna keep in mind when shooting this is that you want to have all of your shots, all of your different clips as one continuous shot. So for this particular one, same thing as the cloning tutorial, I did the bit where I was sitting at the desk and then I filmed a little bit of my desk without me sitting there. And then we went into the kitchen and I filmed a little bit of the kitchen without me sitting there and then I did my little bit in the kitchen. You get the idea. Also, another thing to keep in mind is that once you get your footage into DaVinci Resolve, before you do any cutting or playing around with the effects, you wanna color grade your footage. That way everything is all matched up and it looks the same across the entire video. You get the idea. All right, so we've shot our shots, we've color graded our footage. Now it's time to jump into DaVinci Resolve and put this all together. All right, so we're here in DaVinci Resolve and everything that we're doing today is actually gonna be in the edit page. We don't need to go to color or fusion or anything, which means actually that even if you're not using DaVinci Resolve, you can do this in basically any software. And I will show you how. You can see we've got our four clips that we need for the teleporting sequence. We've got me sitting at my desk, followed by the desk by itself, followed by the kitchen table by itself, followed by me at the kitchen table. Now, the first thing I want to do is cut these clips wherever I think is necessary, basically cut them where the new clips are going to show up. So what I want to do is find those points and we'll go ahead and cut the footage wherever is necessary. Delete the excess. Let's go to the other end of our sequence and we're gonna figure out where we're gonna come in with me thrusting forward. That looks good right about there. Go ahead and cut our footage, delete the excess. And we're not gonna need the audio from the clip of the desk by itself or the clip of the kitchen table by itself. So we can go ahead and we can delete that audio right there. And then let's go ahead and drag those two clips up to video two. Now I want this clip of the desk by itself to start about five frames in from the end of the clip where I'm actually sitting at the desk. So I'm gonna make sure that my playhead is at the end of the clip where I'm sitting at the desk and I'm gonna move back five frames. One, two, three, four, five. Go ahead and take the empty clip and slide it back so it's touching the playhead. Then we're gonna come up to our media bin and we're gonna grab this smoke effect. Now you can find these all over the internet. I found this particular one on a Cineon tutorial about superhero special effects. I'll go ahead and link that down in the description so you don't have to go searching for it. But we're gonna drag that so it matches up with the beginning of the empty clip. And you can see right now, if we look at our playback monitor, all you're seeing is a smoke effect and we got black background with white smoke. What we're gonna do is we're gonna open up our inspector and we're gonna come to composite mode and we're gonna choose subtract. And that's gonna turn the black transparent and it's gonna turn the white smoke black. And now I actually kind of want this clip to go a little bit past the end of the effect. So go ahead and trim that. Delete the excess. And now it's time to play with the transparency of the empty clip. Let's go ahead and zoom in so we can really see what we're working with here. Let's go ahead and highlight the clip of the empty desk. 
we're gonna drop the opacity to zero in our inspector and we're gonna set a keyframe. And let's go ahead and move forward four frames. One, two, three, four. Go ahead and set the opacity to 100. And that'll automatically set a new keyframe. Let's come up to our effect. Let's go back to where we're actually sitting there. Let's go ahead and play with our effect. We're just gonna move it around until it's kind of centered on me. We're gonna zoom it in a little bit so it's a little bit bigger. Let's go ahead and do our position first. Go ahead and move that over to the right just a little bit. Go ahead and do a two zoom. And now if we scrub through this frame by frame, we see I'm disappearing. And when the smoke clears, it's just my spinning chair. And for the second half of this clip, I really just want to do the same thing, but in reverse. So I'm going to take this clip of the empty table and I'm going to just drag it up to video three real quick or video four, sorry, and line it up so that I can make this clip basically the same length. Go ahead and cut that, delete the excess and move it back. We're gonna go ahead and copy this effect. So we're just gonna hold down Alt and we're gonna drag the effect over to the end of that empty clip. Let's put our playhead at the end of those clips and go back five frames. One, two, three, four, five. And then we're gonna snag these clips of me actually at the table and we're gonna set that up so it's five frames in. Now let's go ahead and make sure that the clip of the empty table is selected and we're gonna set some keyframes again. So we're gonna go ahead, 100% opacity here. We're gonna set a keyframe. We're gonna come over four frames. One, two, three, four. We're gonna drop that opacity to zero. That'll set a keyframe automatically. Now let's drag our effect actually. So it is at the beginning of our keyframes. Now if we scroll through that, we'll see that as the smoke expands, I appear on the screen. The only problem is that smoke is a little bit too small. So we're gonna go ahead, come up to three on the zoom. That should be good. And from there, it's just a matter of playing around with that smoke effect and making sure that everything looks good. And then once you're done with that, you throw in some whooshes or some hits or some kind of sound effect where that smoke effect is and you mix it all up and you get this. Yeah, I'm Jay, look at me. I make stupid YouTube videos. Let's take a look. So, would you care to explain yourself? Now, if you really want to step up your game, you can do something like adding this effect to a sequence where you cloned yourself. If you don't know how to clone yourself in DaVinci Resolve, make sure you check out this video right here. And if you want to learn more about video editing, camera gear, and how to make better videos, make sure you subscribe to my channel and hit that bell so you don't miss anything. Thanks for watching, thanks for hanging out, and I'll see you in the next video. Go watch it now.